Okay, right now I'm going to show you my SCSI CD-ROM drive working on my Macintosh 2SI. Um, just recently I got a SCSI cable off eBay. As you can see it is right here. It adapts the 50-pin uh, SCSI off the back of the CD-ROM drive to a 25-pin SCSI for the um, computer and um, it also plugs into the zip drive. I'm using this SCSI zip drive um, daisy chained in with the uh, CD-ROM drive so I can use both drives at the same time. So let me go ahead and turn on the power. As you can see it's on now. Um, and uh, turn on the Macintosh. Now, this system is running Mac um, System 7.1. Now, with System 7.1, since it does not have um, capabilities for PC exchange, like in System 7.5 and newer, um, you can only read Mac formatted disks on this drive. So, that also means you cannot play um, a audio CD, unfortunately. At least I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, as you can see, it is booting. Alright, we are now in an OS. So, let me go ahead and insert a CD. So, for the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to be using a burned copy of Mac OS 8.6. I know this system doesn't support Mac OS 8.6 because it's PowerPC only, but um, it's a Mac formatted disk and it's all I have readily available, so that's what I'm going to use. As you can see the drive opens. Go ahead and put the CD in. And as you can see, the disk is now mounted on the desktop. Now, System 7.1 does not support uh, CD-ROM natively, or out of the box at least. You have to install a, a, um, a CD-ROM driver um, in the extensions folder. And after you do that, it works perfectly fine. So here's the Mac OS 8.6. Um, install CD contents. Um, obviously, I can't install it because this is a 68030 Mac. But um, yeah, it does indeed work. So you can eject the disk by just dragging it to the trash like so. And it ejects by itself. I'm going to take that out. And that is the SCSI CD-ROM drive I got from the thrift store working on a Macintosh 2SI. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.